If 70% of the shares are underwritten, it means 30% of the shares are held by the company. So, 30% into 60,000, it comes up to 18,000. If it is a partial underwriting and there are unmarked applications, then the entire unmarked applications will go to the company. Marked applications means what? Marked application means they are those applications which bear the seal of the underwriter. I am Purnima, faculty in the Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Rate College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. I welcome you all to this session. In this uh, session 3 of Unit 1, let us work out a few problems on underwriting of shares. Now, we have a problem here. Problem number 1. Cash Deal Company issued 60,000 shares of rupees 100 each for public subscription. So, Cash Deal Company has issued how many shares? 60,000 shares of rupees 100 each for public subscription. 70% of the issue was underwritten by J and K in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So, out of 60,000, only 70% of the issue is subscribed. So, 60,000 into 70% comes up to 42,000. So, they have underwritten only 42,000 shares. So, out of 60,000 shares, 42,000 shares are underwritten. So, rest of the 18,000 shares, they are held by the company. So, this 42,000 is underwritten. So, they have a guarantee only for 42,000 shares and the rest of the 18,000 shares the company is keeping it for itself and 50,000 applications were received including marked applications. So, they received 50,000 applications and out of this 50,000 applications, it includes marked applications. Now, what do we mean by marked applications? So, marked applications are those applications which bear the seal of the underwriters. So, it means in this 50,000, it is inclusive, this 50,000 is inclusive of this 18,000 plus 9,500. So, that is almost 27,500 shares are marked here. So, how many applications were received? 50,000 applications were received. In this 50,000, there are marked applications to the tune of 27,500. Now, how many will be unmarked? So, that will be 22,500. See, out of 50,000 shares, 27,500 shares were marked. So, 22,500 will be unmarked. So, out of this, 22,500 shares are unmarked. You are required to find out the liabilities of the individual underwriters. So, we should understand that the underwriters liability. So, whenever there are marked applications and unmarked applications and it is partial underwriting. See, this problem is based on partial underwriting. Okay. Now, what is partial underwriting? Partial underwriting means the entire issue of shares is not underwritten. Only partially it is written. So, here they have specifically told that only 70% of the issue has been underwritten. That means 30% of the issue is still with the company. So, in this case, Whenever it is a partial underwriting and there are unmarked applications, the entire number of unmarked applications will have to go to the company. We will see the uh, calculations in the slide here. See, the gross liability, 70% of the issue was underwritten. In other words, the company itself is the underwriter for the balance of 30% of the issue. So, 70% of the issue 
was underwritten by J and K in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So, the total issue is of 60,000. Out of this 60,000, 70% of the issue is underwritten and out of this underwriter's ratio is 2 is to 1. Now, here the underwriter's gross liability is calculated as follows. Now, what is the total shares issued here? Total shares issued is 60,000. Company's liability. So, that means if 70% of the shares are underwritten, it means 30% of the shares are held by the company. So, 30% into 60,000, it comes up to 18,000. So, 60,000 minus 18,000. So, 42,000. So, this becomes the total liability of J and K. So, we have two underwriters here, J and K and they are having the gross liability of 42,000. Now, we will have to calculate J's share. Now, what is the ratio of which they are having underwriting ratio? It is two-third of 42,000. So, that comes up to 28,000 and K share is one-third of 42,000 that is 14,000. So, the gross liability ratio of J and K company is 28,000 is to 14,000 and 18,000. So, this is J's share, this is K's share, this is the company's share. So, the uh, ratio is 28 is to 14 is to 18 or when you simplify, we get the ratio as 14 is to 7 is to 9. So, whenever you are given a problem on underwriting, first thing is we should analyze whether it is a complete underwriting or a partial underwriting. Second one, we have to also see whether the marked applications and unmarked applications and also the next thing is whether the applications received, whether it is inclusive of marked application or excluding the marked application. So, all these things we have to take into consideration and then calculate the problem. We have to calculate the unmarked applications here. Unmarked application is the difference between total applications received and total marked applications. Total applications received is 50,000. Total marked application is 27,500. Unmarked applications is 22,500. Now, we will just work out the problem. So, we have the format here. So, first we write cash deal company statement of underwriters liability. So, we have one particular column and three amount column. Now, here we will first write gross liability of the each underwriter. So, we have already calculated the gross liability of each of the underwriters. So, it comes up to 28,000, 14,000 and 18,000. Now, we have also calculated the total of unmarked applications. So, how many unmarked applications are there? 22,500. So, if you are having, if it is a partial underwriting and there are unmarked applications, then the entire unmarked applications will go to the company. So, this entire 22,500, it should be credited to the company's account. So, these two underwriters, they will not get any share for the unmarked applications. The company will take credit for the unmarked applications. So, when we deduct 18,000 minus 22,500, so we are getting minus 4,500. So, this remains as it is, uh, 28,000 and 14,000 of the underwriters, the share remains the same. Then, less credit given in respect of surplus in company's account for unmarked application to the underwriters in the mutual ratio of the gross liability that is 28 is to 14. So, if there is any negative balance here, then this surplus should be shared among the underwriters. Now, what is the underwriters ratio? 2 is to 1. So, I calculate 4500 into 4500 into 2 by 3. So, it comes up to 3000 and 
4500 into 1 by 3, it comes up to 1500. So, when I deduct 28,000 minus 3000, I am getting 25,000 and 14,000 minus 1500, I am getting 12,500. Now, from this, we have to deduct the marked applications. Now, what is the marked applications here? 18,000 and 9,500. So, from this, you deduct the marked applications. So, we get the net liability of each underwriter that is the 7,000 and 3,000. So, here we have calculated the uh, underwriter's liability. So, the liability of J is 7,000 shares whereas the underwriter K, he has a liability of 3,000 shares. Now, we will go to the next problem here. So, the next problem here is Balmar Limited issued 20,000 equity shares of rupees 10 per share. 16,000 shares were underwritten by Sam for a commission of 1.5% of the share price. 18,000 shares were subscribed. So, here a 20,000 shares of equity shares of rupees 10 per share, 16,000 shares were underwritten by Sam. Again, so it is a case of partial underwriting. So, the entire issue is not underwritten by the underwriters and there is one single underwriter here. There is single underwriter and then 20,000 shares were issued, 16,000 shares were underwritten, 18,000 shares were subscribed. The number of shares subscribed is 18,000. Yes. So, Find out the liability of the underwriter if marked applications were received for 16,250 shares. Now, we have three options in this problem here. So, three options are marked applications were received for 16,250 shares, marked applications were received for 13,000 shares, marked applications were received for 15,000 shares. So, there are three kind of options given here. So, we have to calculate the underwriter's liability for each of these options. Now, marked applications means what? Marked application means they are those applications which bear the seal of the underwriter. So, in the first instance, there is how many marked applications received here? 16,250 is the number of marked applications received. Now, what is the underwriter's liability here? Underwriter's liability is 16,000, but then marked applications received is 16,250. That is more than his or uh, whatever his share of underwriting. So, the underwriter will not have any liability as such. So, in the first instance, see here, we will write here, marked applications were received for 16,250 shares. As the number of marked applications for shares is more than the number of shares underwritten, that is 16,000, underwriter's liability is nil. See, what is the underwriter's liability? 16,000. What is the number of marked applications? 16,250. So, this is more than this. So, the underwriter does not have any liability. He is not required to subscribe for 2,000 unsubscribed shares. So, out of this 20,000, 18,000 applications have been received. 2,000 applications were not received. So, the underwriter does not have any liability to subscribe to the 2,000 shares because his share of underwriting has been more than fully subscribed. Then, we have the second option. When the marked applications were received for 13,000 shares. So, when the marked application is received for 13,000 shares, then how do we do the problem? So, gross liability of each underwriter and the company. So, the underwriter's liability we know it is 16,000. So, the total issue is for 20,000. So, 20,000 minus 16,000. So, that comes up to 4,000. 
20,000 minus 16,000. So this is the company's share. So this we should understand. So the total issue is 20,000. Out of 20,000, 16,000 has been underwritten by Sam. So 4,000 is in the name of the company. Now the less credit given for unmarked applications. So applications received is 18,000. So less unmarked application 13,000. So what does the second option say? The second option says that marked applications were received for 13,000 shares. See the number of marked application is received for 13,000 shares. So they have given us the marked applications. How much is this? 13,000. So what is the total number of shares subscribed? 18,000. So the applications received is 18,000. Out of this marked application is 13,000. So unmarked will be 5,000. So the unmarked applications is 5,000 here. So when we are having the unmarked application here, so the unmarked application will go to the company. So unmarked application will be credited to the company's account. So 5,000. So 4,000 minus 5,000, it is minus 1,000. So the underwriter's liability will remain the same, 16,000 minus 1,000. So 15,000. Now this excess of company, this is minus 1,000. So it should go only to the underwriter because there are no other underwriters. So less unmarked applications of the company transferred to underwriter. So the company will not have any liability here. Then so that will be transferred to underwriter. So 16,000 minus 1,000, I'm getting a balance of 15,000. So number of shares is 15,000. Now less marked application. So marked application received is 13,000. So whatever is the balance, you deduct 13 from 15. So net liability is 2,000. Net liability of each underwriter, that is the number of shares to be taken up by each underwriter is 2,000. So this is the answer to the second option. So the next problem here, marked applications were received for 15,000 shares. When the marked applications were received for 15,000 shares, we are calculating the net liability of each underwriter. So the gross liability of each underwriter, we are dividing it as 16,000, 4,000 and 20,000. So we all know, we should know that this is a case of partial underwriting. So less credit given for unmarked applications, that is 3,000. So 3,000 is credited entirely to the company's account. So balance is 16,000, 4,000 minus 3,000, 1,000. So 20,000 minus 3,000 is 17,000. Less marked applications, 15,000, we write as it is. Now the liability of each underwriter is 1,000, 1,000. So total comes up to 2,000. Next, we have the working note here. So unmarked application is the difference between total application received and marked applications. Total applications received is 18,000, marked application 15,000, unmarked is 3,000. Now, in case of partial underwriting by a single underwriter, then there are marked applications. Firstly, unmarked application should be credited to company's account. So unmarked application should be credited first to company's account. The surplus, if any, for unmarked application should be transferred to underwriter's account. Thereafter, marked application should be credited to underwriter's account to calculate the net liability of the underwriter. With this, we come to the end of this session. Hope you have all followed it. Thank you.